Welcome to the Tour de France preview stage and what we're looking at today is the sprinters and the green jersey competition and they're slightly different in their nature and I'll explain to that a little bit more about that as we get slightly further through the video but bearing in mind that this year there's no prologue time trial so these are the sprinters that are going to be battling it out for the first yellow jersey on stage one of this year's Tour de France. So the sprinters we need to be looking out for are obviously the the really really big guns of Marcel Kittel, uh, Andre Greipel, Alexander Kristjof and Mark Cavendish. So these four make up the main guys that I believe will be battling it out for the first yellow jersey of this year's Tour de France. Additional sprinters we need to be looking out for are Nasser Bouhani, Brian Cookard, John Degkop, Michael Matthews, and let's not forget Peter Sagan. And the reason why I'm putting Peter Sagan at slightly different to the main sprinters is although he's fast enough to be right up there on the pure sprinter stages, um, the likes of Christoph Greipel and Kittel are likely to be faster than Peter Sagan over these type of pure sprinter type of stages. So down the Champs Elysees on stage 21 or down the finishing long flat, pancake flat finishing uh, straight of stage 1, I believe that these three are likely to be faster than Peter Sagan. However, very importantly, as soon as the race has any type of hills or climbs in the first part of the race, what is going to be happening is these big, heavy, pure sprinters are going to be dropped. They're going to be left behind. What Peter Zagan is going to, will be able to do is he'll be able to get over these first initial climbs and pick up the intermediate sprinter points of even on the climbing day. So he'll get over the first big climb with, with the peloton. He'll pick up the sprinter points for the intermediate sprints even on a mountain stage. And that's where he's going to be making up all of his points to become what I believe, once again, the green jersey wearer by the time we get to Paris. We'll have a look, see how that pans itself out, but I believe Peter Scan, the number one favorite as far as the green jersey when we get to Paris. And also, there's a good chance that on the Category 3 climb up to the finish line on Stage 2, Peter Sagan has a good chance of being right up there and maybe even grabbing the green jersey as early as stage number two, maybe even grabbing the yellow jersey on stage number two. We'll have to see how that plans itself out. But that's, those are the sprinters to be looking at, and that's who I believe are the guys that will be battling it out for the green jersey in this year's tour. Stay tuned for the next couple of videos of the next major type of contenders on the different jersey classifications. Until we meet again, remember, stay carved up for the win. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Whoa. Oh. Coach Ever, that